subscribe to my channel click on bell icon to get notification about new video comparison length kids today we will learn how to compare length you see some things are short and some things are long you know what is the meaning of short short means less long okay now can you see these two pencils which one is long and which one is short you right the first one is long and the second one is short now in the second case yes the first one is long and the second one is short Now kids let us solve this in the empty boxes put a tick for the long object and a cross for the short object in these two ladders which one is long and which one is short yes you're right my genius the first one is long so we'll put a tick to it So we'll put a cross in the box which is in front of the ladder. Now we have two bats. Now which bat is long and which is short? You are correct. The first bat is long and the second bat is short. So put a tick in the box in the front of first bat and put a cross in the box. to the front of second bat we have toothbrushes tell me do you brush your teeth every day toys very nice it's a very good habit now which brush is long and which brush is short yes so put a tick for the first brush as it is long and cross for the second brush because it is short now for the fourth picture which one is long and which one is short hmm it's a little tricky yes the first picture is short so put a cross for that and the second picture is long put a tick for that all right Now kids you have learned about long and short Now I will teach you about longest and shortest If you notice this picture there are three garlands We have to find the longest garland and the shortest garland I think the garland which has most number of flowers is longer in length so it has to be the longest garland and the garland which is smallest in size and has least number of flowers is the shortest garland so according to me the first garland is the longest and the second garland is the shortest Here is a question for you. In the empty boxes, put a tick for the longest object and a cross for the shortest one. In the first picture, there are three mats. Now, according to you, which one is the longest? You are right, my genius. First one is the longest. So, put a tick in the box in front of the first mat. Now we'll find the shortest mat. Yes. The second mat is the shortest. So put a cross in the box which is in front of second mat. 
Here are three toothbrushes. Which one is the longest? You're right, first one. So put a tick in the box. Which one is the shortest? Hmm, third one is the shortest. So put a cross in the box in front of the third toothbrush. Hey kids, do you love painting? Well, here are some paint brushes. Now find out which one is longest and which one is shortest. You are correct. The third brush is longest. So put a tick in the box in front of the third brush. The first brush is shortest. So put a cross in the box which is in front of first brush. Here are some skipping ropes. Now we'll find the longest rope and the shortest rope. Again you're right. The first rope is longest so put a tick in front of it. And the second rope is shortest. So put a cross in front of it. Comparison Breadth Well, there are a lot of objects which are broad, narrow, thick, thin. Let us try and make a difference between thick and thin, broad and narrow. Alright kids? Well, let us see our first picture. Here you'll find edge of books. Kids, if you notice the edge of first book, it is thin. And the edge of second book is thick. Now, here are the books again. If you notice the first book, that is narrow. Second book is broad. In the empty boxes, put a tick for the broad and across for narrow. In the first picture, we have two cell phones, mobiles. They do fascinate you, right? Well, if you notice the first mobile, you are right, it is broad. So put a tick for the first mobile. And the second mobile is narrow so put a cross for the second mobile. Well, in the second picture, can you see window with curtains? First window, you write, is broad. So put a tick for it. Second window is narrow. So we will put a cross for it. In the empty boxes, put a tick for the narrowest and put a cross for the broadest. Now here are three types of roads. Which one is the narrowest? Yes, you're right, my genius. The first road is narrowest. And the third type of road has six lanes. So it is broadest. So put a tick in the box which is in front of first type of road which is a single lane and put a cross in the box which is in front of the third road which is a six lane road Comparison Height Now children, a few things are tall and few things are less tall or short. 
a few people are tall and a few people are short. In fact, in your own classroom, some of the kids are tall and some of them are short. Do you agree with me? All right. Now, let us see these two types of buildings. Well, the first building is less tall, which means it is short, and the second building is tall. In the second picture, we have two jokers. Well, jokers are fun. Now, the first joker is tall, and the second joker is short or less tall. Now here is a question for you. In the empty boxes, put a tick for taller and a cross for less tall or shorter. In the first picture, you can see a duck and an ostrich. Well, you know it that a duck is less tall or short. An ostrich is taller or tall. So, put a cross in the box in front of the duck and put a tick in the box in the front of the ostrich. Here are two giraffes. Now, the first giraffe is taller, so put a tick in the box in the front of the first giraffe. And the second giraffe is short, so put a cross in the box. Two kinds of ladders. You are right. First ladder is taller. So put a tick for that. And second ladder is short. So put a cross for that. Here are two kinds of trees. Now first tree is tall. So put a tick for that. And the second tree, you are right, is short. So put a cross for that. Now, let us talk about tallest, shortest. Kids, there are three kinds of lampposts in this picture. Now, one of them is tallest. And one of them is least tall, which means shortest. The middle lamppost is the tallest. Well, and the third lamppost is shortest. Am I right? All right. Now in the empty boxes, put a tick for the tallest and a cross for the least tall or shortest. Now there are four kinds of trees. Well, the first tree is the coconut tree. Of course it is very tall. And in this case also, I think it is the tallest. So put a tick in the box in front of the coconut tree. And the fourth plant is the smallest or the least tall. So put a cross in the box in front of the fourth plant. In the empty boxes, put a tick for the tallest and a cross for the least tall or shortest. Now here, there are three kinds of cycles. Now tell me, which one is the tallest? Well, the first cycle is the tallest. So put a tick for that. And the tricycle is the shortest, so put a cross for that. Now there are three kids, two girls and a boy. Now who is tallest and who is the shortest? 
The girl with the racket is the tallest. So put a tick in the box in front of the girl. And the second girl with the ball is the shortest. So put a cross in the box in front of the second girl. In the third picture we have three kinds of animals. You are right. The camel is the tallest, so put a tick in the box. And the cat is the shortest, so put a cross in the box. Comparison Weight Well kids, some objects or some people are heavy and some are light in weight. Here is a man holding a balance. Now he has roots in both the pans of balance. But if you notice, the left pan is light as it has less number of roots and the right pan is heavy as it has more number of roots. Now here is the second picture where two kids are playing on seesaw. Seesaw is a fun swing, right? Well, if you notice the kid sitting on the left side of seesaw, he is heavy. And the kid sitting on the right side of the seesaw is light. That is why he is in the air and the kid sitting on the left side is touching the ground. In the empty boxes, put a tick for the heavy object and a cross for the light object. In the first picture, the boys are holding buckets. The first boy is swinging bucket in the air. Which means the bucket is empty, so it is, you're right, light. And the second boy is trying hard to lift the bucket, which means it is full of water and heavy. So we'll put a cross in the box in the front of first boy holding the bucket and a tick to the second box in front of the boy who's trying to lift the bucket. Now in second picture, we have a 10 rupees note and a coin. Well, note is made of paper, so it has to be, you're right, light. So put a cross for the note. And coin is made of metal, so it is heavy. Put a tick for the coin. Here, there are three animals. Now among these, you're right, elephant is heavy. So put a tick for the elephant. And poor little rabbit is light. So put a cross for the rabbit. <laughs>